Hello guys, welcome to Spider Get Tunes and welcome to the review or explained of Titans issue number 14 and it's me Steve your host. Hope you guys will enjoy this fun. This video is super cool and this video is sponsored by no one because this video is sponsored by all of you guys support and all of you guys love who just support this channel and that everything and yeah I just forgot to say this video is supported by all of my patrons and they are super amazing and they are great from the next video i'm gonna announce the patreon names that will be super cool so yeah let's start without any kind of zivaration a kind of stupid storytelling kind of thing so yeah let's start this review from vsciencedccomics.com and this review is by eric shaw thanks eric for this review and i'm gonna read it right now hope you guys won't mind and hope you guys will enjoy this one so our issue begins with the titans taking on the trident three who are atlanteans that Garth went to the silent school of magic with back in the day before they were expelled for going too far and as we see from this issue they are still going too far because they planned on poisoning New York through its pizza fish pizza which if you have seen the billboards in the background of the previous issues you will understand the people's love for their pizza fish pizza fish aside though this issue really acts as the deconstruction of the titans team as all of their jealousies and fears come out in the open which started when nightwing accused omen of being the traitor in the previous issue which really got good's dander up since he is in love with her. This continues during the fight when Arsenal decides to start throwing out accusations to Wally about stealing the gold he liked since we saw Roy witness Wally and Donna's case a couple issues back. And really, the team isn't acting like a team at all in this issue and it's pissing me off for all the friendship and family mono motifs. Oh, what did, did I just say? So sorry for that one. So family motifs we have seen through this run so far you think that they would be better at dealing with one another and i hope that there's some outside force causing this to happen because it just feels wrong throughout this issue we are shown flashback about how nightwing plans on weeding out the crater with some special gear from spiral that will detect if someone has been compromised and after everyone is scanned the pizza poison fiasco goes into play getting our heroes to their current predicament eventually after the team starts getting at everyone's throats Garth has had enough and summons up the power he learned during his days at the silent school and unleashes some magical energy that takes the trident 3 out of commission but we also learned through Lilt that Garth had promised never to use his power again because he apparently lost someone during his days at the school and possibly through his use of the magic. So yeah, God has some unwanted memories swimming throughout his head now. In the end, the Titans return to the tower and Nightwing goes to discover the results of the test and yeah, that is the thing. And we find out that everyone else is clean but it's Dick who is the actual spy of the group and he deletes the information before anyone can find about it. That's it for this issue of Titans and while I was genuinely shocked at who the traitor of the group was, the majority of the issue felt like a retreat of everything we have been dealing with since the end of the Lazarus contract, with the team falling apart and while that does add a bit of drama to the book, it's becoming a bit old for me and I wish we could move on to something else. The art in this book is great but I felt the transitions between the fight and the flashbacks were a bit jarring and actually took out some of the momentum of the book. All in all, I like the idea of a traitor in the ranks of the titans and that it's dick. But I really wish the team would start acting like friends again because that was the main draw of the series to me and with that gone my interest is on its way out too. Yeah, that's the thing because if you want to watch a Avenger movie, if they are not working together that means it will become a civil war movie not an Avenger movie that's why they named it like different so that's why it's the thing because if the titans don't like don't trust each other then there will be no connection with the audience that how they will like it or not so let me let me read it some parts from adventuresinportis.com and this review is by David Brooke and I'm gonna read it from something here also that is 
Why does this book matter? Dan Abnett knows how to write team books, giving every character something to do and say with solid interactions. Brad Booth knows how to draw a kinetically exciting series together, then make for a great team book. And that is what happening in this comic book also. I may not have been noticed this if it ran out in monthly POP back in April, but Piece of Fish makes a return to this series. That is what happened in this one because this is the delete scene. This is the delete scene. So this time it's a piece of joint, but we know it was also a movie a few months ago. Anyway, it's a fun little detail we picked up. Speaking of piece of fish, Abnet and Booth, along with Inca Norm Rapmont and colorist Andrew Delhouse, deliver an exciting issue that waves in relationship issues very well, using a narrative that is traumatic and amazing so next one is coming nightwing versus the titans so hope you guys will enjoy that one too but before that just like and share this video and subscribe for more amazing videos and more upcoming videos don't forget to hit the like button have a great day adios amigo